How is everyone, darlings? This is me starting this video of my one week postpartum tummy. So, me and Opa also had our one week checkup postpartum in the hospital, and we brought baby with us. Some photos of Chloe, and then a clip of like what we do at night. Then I'm feeding. Sometimes a bus awake, sometimes it's not. And then while we're still in the hospital, I already asked my sister in law to like prepare a cake because this is a past birthday. It's August 31st. So you can see that he really loves fresh fruits, taro, pudding, cake. So I asked my sister in law to help me prepare that. And then this is just like, you know, my everyday routine. If Coco is not at school because lately she's getting sick, she got fever and stuff. So I have to take care of both. I'm trying to put both to sleep. So it's a challenge. And, you know, I got money because every time I deliver the baby, <laughs> I get money from my in-laws. And then this is our baby girl. She's so cute. And as if now I can produce 100 cc and then... I got her like a two big photos postpartum. So, life, life update. Coco's bed and Chloe's bed arrived yesterday, and we made one last night. I'm hugging this baby, by the way. And this bed, the second bed, should go. Tonight, a Bob will be making another bed on the other side there where that fan is. I'm just probably gonna move that small thing somewhere and then our bed so I thought I'd be able to sleep with Opa last night but then halfway through the piggy here Coco woke up crying and coughing and then I arranged this yesterday it's not this way it's the other way around I still want to buy a bigger cabinet but that'll do for now have some laundries and then there's like the thing there we got lots of diapers from the workers here in the clinic some family friends i got some this is how i look like i got some red envelopes as well and i treated the nurses some drinks yesterday because they gave me red pockets for the fiber and this is what I look like for every day. You can see my tummy is already a lot smaller. And I'm 51 point something kilos already. So I, gain, I lose like 6.5 to 7 kilos already. So this is how life treats us. Life treats me. I changed this. I, I have like two kinds of like this towels. And I changed it like every two days. Because you know the baby will sweat and stuff. It's baby baby. And moving on for the second week, postpartum body, the tummy is a lot smaller. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm thinking for like the manure, like the full month of my baby, Celine. So I love this um, coffee shop or patisserie shop. It's in Ching Shui. Uh, near our place so opa got me uh two pieces of this cheesecake and then opa got me two pieces of um creme brulee or like pudding then this one is uh what they have for like if you wanted to sell i uh, if you wanted to buy for like the cake so this is like the choices so i'm thinking a lemon pound cake because i love lemon so i think that's just what i'm gonna share with everyone or like my close friends or the ones that really check up on me this past year um so this is like the chocolate roll i'm looking forward for this been wanting to try that and then this is like the other it's not a pound cake though this is the earl gray oh, it's here in behind so this is like the chocolate roll cake and then they have the earl gray caramel so yeah so this is the earl gray and this is the honey something i guess the honey sea salt and then the lemon pound and then another earl gray apple so 
I will try them and then tell you guys which one I love. But of course, no one can replace cheesecake in my life. So, this is me. I'm just done bathing my baby. She's still up though. I'm here with my pump. So this one is like the one I've been loving. The Moo Mom makes life easier and I've all I'm always on my like nursing bra or maternity bra whole day even at night. And then like the honeycomb breast something pads is important as well. So as you can hear. Oh my baby's awake. And then that pillar is really good. It helps me at night when I'm feeding the baby. And I love, 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 love that um, electric fan I bought in Coupang. And then, as you can see, the bed is over here. We're going to remove this one when I have time later. And that's it. Um, at night time, when I was like off work before the kids um, take a bath or something like that Opa is like making the second bed and then this is just like my everyday routine if the girls are at school and then sometime over in the lunchtime Opa will like come over or just like you know before he goes to work I'll have a breakfast and like look at how I do the house <laughs> it's not even helping kidding so that's it i love the uh, setup of that room with the two pink beds it's just so cute and then of course the crib so this is how like the thing over there looks like um i'm not sure about the cabinets about that i want to change it but maybe soon so yeah so that's just how it looks like it can you can see a lot of pink like our room is supposed to be like black gray and white whatever but it became pink so mm, my god orders from Kupang. i actually order things like mostly every other day and i do it like cash and delivery it's just because you know chloe is in school and then her uh how to say this lunch bags and the um water bowl is so dirty and i wanted to try these new like lip things and it's just like you know one one uh, day delivery so i got those things and even this um like i'm not sure where, what i got but i think it's like you know um what's this a set of like utensils for uh chloe yes that's it so i really love this application that you know many things i can just buy and can just get the next day so like diapers and stuff like that milk whatever and then i'm gonna show you how me and Oba eats so one of my mother-in-law's friends gave like a roasted chicken and then me and Oba just started eating using our hands because <laughs> we've just been we've just been at home or we will just be at home for like this month for one month or more than a month so you know online shopping is just my stress reliever so <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys what i got so it's like three parcels but i already unboxed them so i got this like something to put keys in a black one and then i bought another xiaomi camera because i just wanted to you know look at the baby and stuff like that i wanted to have like two cameras in our room and then i got this i saw this online and i feel like wow i need this because i always keep on changing our shower head so i got two i'm gonna try to open it and then show it to you guys i'm gonna try it later it's hard to do it in one hand so bear with me okay so this is how it looks like it has like these bristles and stuff like that for showers my baby's just home she doubt though so that's what we have it has like this thing it has an english so it's good and then i got mittens like two pieces of mittens just for cocoa and this one is for free and i just bought because i love these kinds of things so i will throw the other things and just juice this 
because I've been using that for like feeding the baby, like the small towelettes and like for letting her take a bath and stuff. And then last time Opa is looking for the humidifier that I found. I bought before but they're all broken so I bought a new one and I bought it in black color. I just wanted to have a black color. And then I got this. There's 20 pieces just for you know the baby and stuff. I still have a lot though, but you know just to be <laughs> prepared if ever. And then I got this a better weighing scale. It's the one we're using. It's not good. I don't like it. I wanted a Xiaomi one you know. I love Xiaomi stuff like that. So that's just what I got for this parcel. Look forward because I still have many more unboxing that I will show to you guys soon. Other set of things arrived. I got this. I love the IKEA one. It's bigger. Anyways, I bought this in Kupang. And then this one also. Like brush. And then something non-slip. And then this one for the CR. Also this one for the CR. And then, what else? I also got this baby bottle brush set B. And then a Kony new one. I've been looking forward for this and this. Pyeongkang Yul Feminine Wash. And been wanting to try these. So that's it. And that's it for like the past weeks. It's been three weeks. I'm turning um almost a month. Next week it'll be like a month since I delivered a new baby in this world. So this is how I look like I removed my eyelashes extensions last week so I feel like a virgin you know <laughs> I didn't have any uh, lashes or like you know full fluffy pretty lashes with me and I already have like an appointment for next week for my lashes and for my nails just to so you know make me feel put together because lately I have not been you know I have not been feeling myself in a way like I don't really have time to put on makeup and stuff like that not every day though there are times that it's hard I'm having anxiety I feel depressed sometimes I do cry sometimes but it's this is not as um hard like what i had for chloe just because you know i'm not a new mom i've experienced these things um a couple of times already so you know i'm an experienced mom but then you know it's still different it hits different every pregnancy it's just hard when you can't you don't have enough sleep and then the other kids at least you know when you finish one task there's another or two more it just Everything keeps piling up, so you just feel more burnt out, and then you don't have enough sleep. You, you always have interrupted sleep, and lately the kids are getting sick, and then I'm just really tired. I'm still, you know, um, adjusting to the routine, though I almost do like what I do normally. I still don't carry like super heavy things, but then, you know, I already started you know, washing clothes by myself. Actually, just right after delivery, I already, when I came back home, I already started cleaning slowly because there are like things that the nanny won't do. She won't throw things. She won't organize things the way I wanted to. I've been wanting to have an, another nanny for like the baby, especially when like in daytime, it helped me take care so that, you know, at, at least like at nighttime, I can manage in a way, but you know, it's still different, but yeah there is like no one with the standards that i want i want someone who can speak english i can like you know as talk to her or yeah the nanny better the chinese is fine but it's just you know i still feel like no one can really keep up with the standards like i like will watch like a hawk 
so even when i'm at home even if i'm home i will still like you know correct you the things that things like that and then i don't want the nanny to be too old or to be too young and i want the nanny to have you know experience with kids a licensed nanny uh and then it's not just taking care of the baby because the baby just sleeps most of the time it's right but then i want the nanny doesn't need to cook or like need to really like clean clean but at least she can you know uh like help over with the kids as well like especially when they're home but i think it's gonna be hard i feel like it's hard for me to find a nanny that way and it's just like if ever i find like a nanny that's solely the sole purpose is just taking care of the newborn i feel like it's just you know it's too much easy so if ever i look for a nanny i should look it for nighttime i feel like something like that for the daytime i feel like i can manage you know but you know it's hard i'm still torn of like hiring or not so in the end i still didn't hire i still do everything myself i prepare the kids early in the morning for whatever they're gonna wear the night next day before their things whatever i try to manage everything and most of the time my husband is really not home this is also adjusting for his new business and it's just you know he's also feeling stressed and i'm also feeling burned out so it's hard so i suggest you guys should not have like too much kids i know everyone's like telling me oh you don't have to worry about money you don't have to worry about this that blah 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 blah. but then yeah it's still it's still hard to be a mother even if you don't have to like worry about the expenses i'm lucky that i don't need to worry about those but yeah so that's it i'm gonna go and then continue my life and then talk to you guys soon so so far i'm doing pretty well i'm still fine i'm still alive and for those who are like asking thank you so much that you're like you know thinking of me and thank you for like the people like you know they still kind of like message me or like how are you or just something like that so i appreciate that so i'm gonna see you guys next time bye